Um, well, first of all, as a presenter, if you're getting nervous before an awards night, what advice would you give, say, the nominees who are probably equally as nervous? I would definitely say, first thing, count to ten. Count to ten, ten deep breaths. Honestly, it realigns yourself and it does really relax you. Um, also, remember that you're the expert of your product and your company and everybody there is learning from you. So have confidence that you are the person that actually knows what you're about to talk about. Nobody's there to trip you up. Everybody's there to celebrate you. So just try and keep the positives for sure. And as a, say, a freelancer, say with presenting beauty, what would be the toughest part, the most challenging part about being a freelancer in this industry? I think, you know, not knowing kind of where you stand, it's, it is really feast and famine and it's not having the stability but also that creates a bit of excitement sometimes too so you kind of you're kind of living on the edge all the time sometimes it can be really hard but then other times it can be really positive because when work does come in or you are asked to do something really amazing that you're really passionate about then you you feel a bit more involved for sure so we're all basically crazy we are. is what we're saying <laughs> um we've spoken a lot actually um i have to talk with the judges about social media and the importance of it would you say it's a very important tool for you Definitely. Um, I'm a beauty expert on QVC, so I do a lot of presenting for lots of different brands for them. And I find that I go and check social media beforehand to see the kind of reviews, what customers are saying, the feedback, whether it be negative and positive. And I can actually take that and then bring it onto the show that I'm doing. So I can then give like a fair and balanced opinion when it comes to representing a product. So for me, professionally, social media, I think is a really good tool. But also as a customer, I think it's really important to see what other people are saying at the same time. So that when you're wanting to go and buy a product, you know, you're not just going on one person's opinion. You're able to look and really scout whether it's Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're looking on. On to then see and get the balance view to then see maybe you can actually contact someone and say I've seen this comment that you said can you just give a little bit more information and we never used to have that five ten years ago we had MySpace yeah uh, that was it yeah good old days I miss that um, so for people that are starting out say um, in beauty in this industry um, it's tough out there what makes you stand out again knowledge is power so uh, if you are really passionate about it, find the reason why you're passionate because everybody loves beauty. We all like to leave the house in the morning and feel better about ourselves by applying makeup or doing your hair or putting on your favourite moisturising cream, whatever it may be, because it brings us confidence. And then that means that when you step out, you feel better instantly. But what, what, what is it? What's the crux of it that you're actually trying to do? And find your niche. That's really important. Um, for me, I have really... Over the last kind of three, four years, I've gone a lot more into wellness because the, the balance between health and beauty is so important. Health actually creates beauty. You know, everybody wants that glowing, great skin, but actually if you don't start with your health, you're not going to get that in return because topical products are great and they really do work, but they only work to some extent. We really need to be working on the inside. So I now am um, a UK sales manager for a probiotic company from Australia. So for me, I'm constantly talking to different companies who are going to stock the product, but I have to know that they're the right company so that when the, cu the customer goes in, they're getting the right advice so that then they know how to use a product and then get the benefits for themselves. Do you find as consumers we're now changing and becoming more aware of the importance of health than I guess ethical products and we're more open-minded? Yeah definitely. I, I really have noticed, I used to be one of those people that were like oh you know just eat what you want, it doesn't matter if you're just having a bit of takeaway here and there but actually the difference when if you were to give your skin a break you know and just eat really well for a week and then go and have that takeaway notice your skin the next morning I can guarantee I know exactly what my skin will do it completely transpires what we've eaten how we're feeling whether we're carrying stress whether we're traveling or not if we're not getting enough sleep it's all the things that our mums used to tell us and we never listened to and now actually because the industry is saying it everybody's starting to listen up a little bit more so it, I, I really like how it's kind of marrying together now everybody understands that health does then give you beauty and beauty comes Companies, being more sustainable, it's really important, being more environmentally friendly. A lot of reusable products are coming through as well and able to kind of um, recycle empty bottles and things like that. You know, everybody's been a bit more aware and for me that's great because you're still getting what you want but at the same time you're feeling like you can do some good yeah. at the same time so it kind of makes you even feel more confident. Yeah, brilliant. Well, that's brilliantly said. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you.